The Creator gave Indians this country as a home. The Creator gave us plenty to live on. We love this land and the buffalo, and we will not part with it. When we Indians kill meat, we eat it all. We don't chop down the trees. We only use dead wood. But the white people pull down all the timber. We did not ask you white men to come here. You had your land, but you have come to take ours. When we ride, we see camps of soldiers and settlers plowing the fields. Everywhere the white man touches the earth becomes sore. We do not want your civilization. We want to live as our fathers did and their fathers before them. Everywhere the whites are established, they build villages and railroads for the trains, making the buffaloes disappear and leaving us to die of hunger. This land belonged to our fathers, but now we count for nothing, no more than wind on the buffalo grass.
keep me. We'll have to hear all about his hernia. The inspector wants to see you. What about? I'll be right there. Ain't gonna be no berries for putting up this fall. Spring frost, you know. Killed all the flowers. My wife and six kids. All hungry. How much, Napoleon? Five. Five? One. God bless you. No. Bless you. You don't get that back to me next payday. You best to froze your own personal pin cherries so you don't feel the toe of my boot when you get it. That's all we need. Engine slaughtering department cars at will. We've got to make an example of him. Stop it now. You patrol, Sergeant Grant. Yes, sir. Sounding Sky encourages the boy to ignore the law and spreads gossip about me all the time. Yes, yes, I know. They will have to learn to herd according to rules. I understand, sir. The offense is serious, remember that. Dismiss. We may have patrol for one goddamn Indian killed one goddamn cow and this goddamn new issue hat don't fit. It was the inspector's orders to bring him back, and that's what we're gonna do. Orders don't make no coon shit sense. Well, you're welcome to your coon shit opinion. But this is my patrol. We're gonna bring him back. Jesus, you're stubborn. If you was to drown, they'd find your body upstream. Bringing in one Cree boy is about as dangerous as picking up a crocus. Here's their evidence. Because they'll be needing that when they have their goddamn trials. It was our cow I killed. That was a department herd cow. Slaughtering one of them is a felony. You've got to get proper permission from Mr. Ballantyne. You know that. Being hungry tells us better. It's time to kill our cow. All that hurt is the queen's cattle. The queen forgot to burn her brand, crown, and scepter on that one. This is no time for mockery. You will have to stand trial. Yeah, huh? A proper trial and then rot in a hole like a dead gopher. You know the law, almighty voice. You don't want no trouble, you know that. You're under arrest. So make it easier on us and them. You just take your medicine like a man. Drop on him right from the start. Many birds was here, Almighty Voice was here, Sounding Sky was up here, and just around the teepee come rolling grass. And your dad put easy, his hand easy, on the... Easy, easy, now. Not so dramatic. Will you have some of this? No, oh, I'm saving this. So he killed the cow, his own cow, because he didn't have food. Indian agency cow, love. Department herd. Maybe they are hungry. There is... So little to hunt now. They'll have to learn to herd, or they will starve. Such a cruel country. Once you get to know it, Prairie's gentle. You ever look in the throat of a tiger, Lily? First freckles I ever saw in my life. On the soft yellow throat of a tiger, Lily. <laughs> the sky. Prairie sky. Once I dumped six bags of blue in, in my ma's tub, just to see if I can get that blue, blue or prairie sky. Didn't you get in a lot of trouble? Yeah, I got that too, I did. <laughs> I think before you have ideas like this, it's time for bed, Eddie. Boy? Oh, yes? You promised me that you would tell me about... Edouard? Huh? Edouard, do what your mother tells you, please. I'll talk to you. Do you mind? No. Up the wooden hill to bed for sure. I'll give you till I count ten. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Dan, I'm in bed. I'm halfway up. So I says to him, Chief Weaseltail, you don't believe Dan Candy. 
and you round up every buffalo for a hundred miles around. Round them up and head them straight for that cliff. Was there a lot of them? Thousands. Thousands and thousands and thousands. More than you ever seen in your whole life. Thicker than grasshoppers, tit swinging cows with their calves, bellering after them, necker knocking old bulls, roaring so sure. You can hardly hear yourself think. Dust lifted up out of there. It made it like night for 50 miles around. How could you see? Their eyes. Red lights shining through the dust. Bloodshot eyes lit her up. And the smell. Smell. Smelt like the inside of a blacksmith shop with a million blacksmiths shoeing a million horses. Cause on account of them running so fast, their hooves was smoking. And they hit the edge of that cliff where the, where the fence squeezed them together like that. And they went tumbling over the edge. And there came a hissing and a blowing and a holler and come out of there and a big cloud of steam come up. Steam? Red hot hoofs hitting the creek down there, God damn it! That steam scalded 15 Indian braves and the ponies to death. The rest got caught in the blizzard. Blizzard? Mud to blizzard. Your steam rises. Going to hit all of that dust up there. Dust's going to turn to mud. Your mud's generally heavier than your air, so she's going to come down. That's how come, Chief Weasel Tail. Give me this magic vest. You can He's doing the jailhouse dance. Yes, his chain's too short. You probably can't lie down to sleep. Ain't nobody loose his chain. Loose it. Where's my coat? I'll get it. Careful, he's kind of jumpy out there. Is that your beer? Drinking. You know something about this I ought to know. How do you appreciate it? Come on now. Fella. Him and me's gonna haul ass out of here. You go get your shut eye. We are going to Sadie's and surprise the girl. Come on, Morris. Move out of that stall now. Come on, move! Hey, what's all the commotion? That Indian escaped, Sergeant. Oh, for the love of each, what are you going to do that for, stupid goddamn Indian? Where's Malcolm? Couldn't find you. We went after him with the scout. Well, where'd he go? The reserve, I guess. <sighs> stupid goddamn Indian. Well, mount up, for Christ's sakes. Jesus Christ, Malcolm. Could have waited. I ain't gotta go bloody chasing after you. Sergeant Grant found out about Candy taking off them jeans. He's madder than hell. Yeah, that Candy. He's always getting away with shit like this. Must have been so drunk, son of a bitch probably unlocked the door himself. Yeah.
get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! You hear me? You red son of a bitch! He came out to this wild prairie from a Christian home in the east, and he gave his life here. Almighty voice, come on now, lad. You must come with me. The law is clear. It's better for you if you come without trouble. He gave it bravely and unselfishly in the execution of his duty for the high purpose of justice, the very foundation stones of civilization. Don't make it more difficult for yourself. Put down that gun. And then Martha said unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died so much as it pleases our Lord in his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother Malcolm here departed. We commit his body to the ground in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty voice, I'm going to bring him in. I'm going to see him dance at the end of a rope. You'll have to catch him. I'll catch him. I'll be at his funeral. Maybe not. You red bastard. Coming like some coyote after guts. You don't need your pity. If there's anything I can do around the house, city, all I have to do is holler. Madame. I guess you'll be leaving soon. What? Come, he killed my father. Hey, I don't know, Eddie. Eddie was scared. I don't, I don't know. Was my dad hurting him? Your dad never hurt no one. Your, your dad was a, your dad was a laughing man. How, how old are you now, Eddie? You're nine, are you? Ten in November. We, we came out to Prairies when I was ten, in, uh, in 68, middle of summer. Gosh, she was hot. She, she, steaming hot. Tar paper, roof on the outhouse. All bubbled up. Wispy sort of smoke coming off her. So sticky. Dumb fool old crow got herself stuck up in it, hawing and a con and a... Inside of ten minutes, whole flock of crows circling around the way they, way they do when, when one's in trouble. Before you knew it, the 
whole roof was stuck up with crows, you know. Poor wings flapping, something fearful. The old house sort of lifting up, settling. My ma come out and yelled, get the axe. I got it and cut the old house loose from the uprights and away she went. Up over the barn, heading south. And I looked back and I looked back to where she'd been and, and there, there, was, there was my dad. He was sitting there. <laughs> he was laughing to beat the band, his trousers down around his ankles. And that, that's how I remember him. I, I remember him laughing, you know, at, you're dead. You're You have to let me go after him, sir. I don't have to do anything. A good man is dead. I would gladly see you in front of a firing squad. But I want that engine in my jail even more. Constable, dismiss. I should be recommending this honorable discharge. Not just the motion. Have you seen him set the one up with Scamo? It will help to have a bit of a time. Bear, what? Ringer, you combed through this reserve like you was looking for lice. Yes, sir. You've had lice, haven't you? Yes, sir. That's how I want you to look. They warned me you wouldn't be able to track a bleeding elephant through a fresh fall of snow. Well, I'm warning you. I'm counting on you. Sorry, sir. sir. Goddamn cur. He's here, isn't he? I know he is. He wouldn't leave without her. Did you tell him he's going to get hung? I hope you did. Toomey has the floor. I'd still like to know about the town sprinkler and when we can depend on the honey wagon. Here, here. Why don't we get rid of that bear? This is a protest meeting. This is a meeting of concerned citizens, Ezra. Nobody's mad at anything. Ralph, you call it whatever you want to call it. I want to hear what the man has to say. You'll be heard. Well, I see the inspectors come to our meeting. Would you like to come up front, Inspector? Make no mistake about it. A situation like this can get out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Good. What I want to say is that I personally don't like the idea of sending a man like Dan Candy to arrest that almighty voice. All right, Mr. Crombie. With all due respect to you and Mr. Mayor, I think I'd better speak to this meeting before you go any further. Or answer some questions. Oh, yes. Take all come, can he in jail? This is a mounted police matter. Damn right it is. But we are the law in the Northwest Territories. And it is for us to apprehend our mighty voice. What the hell are you? Goddamn pyromaniac. The fire. Why don't you shoot your gun off a few times? Wave your arms and holler. Sorry, sir. Oh, don't make no, never mind. You probably know anyhow. Sir, the family are refusing to cooperate and all. Why don't we go and arrest them all? Bell 
partner, you could hang them upside down over an open fire, and they'd roast alive before they tell you a goddamn thing. Yes, sir. Nothing. I'll keep looking. He's around. Somewhere. You may use that chair.
Where's the girl? She's right here. <laughs> Get out. Where you come from, Bellringer? I was born in Goderich, Ontario, sir. Well, being from down east, you wouldn't know about them. Horse beetles. What, sir? They come out on the prairie at night when she cools off. Nocturnal horse beetles. Even if you keep your eyes peeled for them, they get right by you. Eat under the frog of a horse's foot. Can eat right through an entire horse overnight while you're sitting there. The man we're after is a Cree. Crees have got that horse beetle talent. Don't take it personal. Harold, isn't it? Yes, sir. Sir, if you ordered out patrols to hit at La Corne, not Lake, one arrow. Well, that could move him down into Batosh. I'd be waiting for him there. Sir? Sit down, the both of you. Sir, there's no food out there. I can't see him running around shooting his gun off every time he gets hungry if there's patrols out. We can't waste special patrols. Keep them racing away from one reserve to the other just because you think it might flash him out into the open. Well, regular patrols in. Every outpost has been notified with full description. I think he's probably gone from here anyway now, sir. He's not. I'm almost convinced of it. No rational man would take such foolish risk. He was right there, 15 feet away. We almost had him. Report to the barracks. Sir, permission to go back out. Get some rest first. I'm fine. I don't have the men to spare for this. They're all out, and I need Bellringer here. I'll go alone. Eddie! Hey, let me see that beauty. And hey, look at your knife. Nice. Good weight to it. My dad. Do I back now? Nah. Yeah. Keep oil on it. Yeah, look at this snow, eh? Coming this early like this. It's gonna be a cold winter. Like the winter of 88. You know when snow gets so deep? In the pockets you get a kind of blue shadow. Well, that weren't why the snow was blue in 88. 88. The snow was blue with the cold. Well, I seen a I seen a coyote. Fro stiff. In mid-air in the running position. And 15 feet up ahead of him. Jack Rabbit, he was chasing after. In midair, two hind legs drawn up underneath him, all ready for the next jump. Come strength thaw. Save that Jack Rabbit's life. Why? Well, your Jack Rabbit's smaller than your coyote. Thaw it out first. Give him a head start. Coyote didn't thaw out till next day. Do you catch him? Not yet. He's going to get away, isn't he? No, he's not. He wants to think that, but he ain't. I swear it. I swear. I'm all right. She got everything she needs. I'll try and drop by and uh, see her. All right, if I drop by and see her? I don't care what you do.
pregnant. Another week, we should be pro solid. Hope we get snowed in till July, right, Constable? Surely can't take much more of this. She, uh, she asked me to give you this. She, uh, well, she was kind of hoping you'd drop by. You know, I think she's, she's got a lot of pluck, you know. Maybe you could go over for just a little while. Well, anyway, she uh, she said I should say Merry Christmas. Welcome, shaven box. Merry Christmas, Dan. I mean, from me. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Become a hunter with nothing to hunt. Is he still here? Tell me, damn it. You gotta tell me.
Arsene Tutusis, Glennis Tutusis, Darlene Tutusis, Running Cow Isaac, Running Cow Mary, Running Cow Charles and Martha. Sounding sky. Pie, lemon meringue, apple, Saskatoon berry. idea is this? I'm going to overlook the way you just came into my office, Constable. But it is the last time. What are your objections to this? This kind of thing brings in every bit of scum in North America. Have you brought in some red scum with you, Constable? No, sir. But white scum is just what we don't need here. This is my hunt. This hunt does not belong to any man in this force. You just won't accept that, will you? Constable, $500 shows the community at large that we do care. That reward turns it right into a community coyote hunt. And he's a hell of a lot more than a coyote trying to save his hide. Sir, there's only one way. I'm going out, and I'm going to stay out till I bring him in, no matter how long it takes. He's still in the district. He ain't leaving his home grounds on nobody's account. He's going to live here as long as he can, and if he has to, he's going to die here. I want him to smell me. I, I want him to see me. I want him to know that I'm there for good. I'm leaving the barracks, sir. You really moving out? That's right. for this. Couldn't find the words. I rightly shouldn't have it. Why? Well, keep it for when Eddie, when Eddie's, uh, he should have it, not me. Hmm. Oh, he's got me tied up. Tied up blind in a sack. You have hunted him too long. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him any way I can. I'm going to bring him in, and I'm going to see him hung. Dan, I hope you never kill him. Oh, don't say that, am I? 
I know you. It's not done, Candy. It's your demon talking. Ever since Malcolm died, it has been taking power over you. My Wendigo. <laughs> what? Wendigo, Wendigo. Wendigo is superstition ain't real. Oh, it's like ghosts or wizards or people who hang their hearts in trees. Don't let him eat your heart. Please, don't. I'm just doing what I gotta do. And I'll be back. Uh, you'd never be waking up. Aye. Don't bother with me, none. Come in, say hello, nothing more than that. Well, Mrs. Sounding Sky, sleeping so sound, didn't want to disturb you, none. Baby, come yet? <laughs> We saw him back there, about 15 miles. The Indian. Open throttle, head back. I can't, it's the CPR railroad. Mr. Hendrickson, I said head back. We have a schedule. Back. You can't take over this train. The only thing that stops this railroad is the hot box wreck or act of God. Wilfred oh, Hendrickson, you just took on board a one-man act of God. Now you open that throttle. All right. Well, the Pollyan Royale, God damn! How's your wife? God damn. Mike, pleased to see you. No red coat anymore? Nope. Don't go with the way I'm living. I heard they hunt those deserters pretty hard. Well. Rest your worries, Napoleon. I ain't no deserter. Not yet. That's good. How much you want? It would really make me sad if they started to hunt you too now. <laughs> make your pocket sad. How much? 
Maybe two? Maybe we better figure out how you are ever going to pay me back. Uh, I'll work for you. Just have to ask. Since I come to Duck Lake Post, I have loaned to you, and you have not paid back to me, $22. At Constable's pay, assuming you uh, ain't been promoted, Constable's pay, that will be, not counting Sundays and holidays, roughly speaking, 15 days' work. Well, that's my account. You're going to have to settle it. Well, you have explained it very well. One. One dollar. Take it. What is it? It's my map. Duck Lake, Batosh, One Arrow. It's where I've been, where we're going. Looks like we've been all in the same place all the time. Yeah. That's good, Jim. I'm map. I'm We are stationed in Jimmy Natsu. I was stationed at you. Come in, come in. I'm going to go to the house. i
string. There's the rope. This is tired. Uh -huh. I am tired too. Oh yeah. You still owe me six days, you know. 
Today we didn't start anywhere, we didn't get anywhere. Well, that means we ain't losing any ground. My horse is confused. It thought we set out for Duck Lake this morning. It thinks we've been riding too long without resting. Get a smarter horse. We ain't gonna get anywhere like this. We've got nothing to show for all this hard riding. Over the low age, Napoleon, you have been coming after us past two days. Bullshit. Shut up. Thorns, thorns through their hands, in their feet, through their throats, trapping them, trapping them just like they trapped Malcolm. And see him. We need tips, Kona. Do you bother him? Bulberry thorns. All around. Grab them. You're crazy. Let's get out of here. We got him. I know it. They're going to come in here. They're going to come in here to kill us. They won't do it from out there. I know them. They won't do it. They want to, they want to do it right up close. Nice surprise. Get Dan Candy's surprise, that's what they're gonna get. Three white tailed deers looking for a place to sleep. Shut up. Come on. What are you doing? Firewood. Firewood. More fire? Show them bouncing deer you are. Let's get them down for the night. You crazy. Want some wood. Keep it going good. Napoleon, give me a hand here. Napoleon. Ah! 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 Ah!
Over. It's an hour hence now. I'm bringing him in. Get him out of Constable. here. Control yourself, or I will have you return to the barracks. Go with Tommy and Oshel. I do. Do you swear to uphold the laws of our land? In the... Move in quick. He must not escape. Do you swear to uphold the laws of our land? Some goddammit! Sir, two of been killed. They've all gone crazy. Get him out of here. Let me do it myself. Please control yourself. Jesus Christ. Cover me! Bellringer? You all right? Look like an elephant stepped on you. Detachments on its way, sir.
wounded. Come out the far end, you'll be safe. Almighty voice, I'll get you a fair trial, I promise you. Northeast end. I'll be waiting for you. Beginning to end. Two dead. Three, sir. Sit, gentlemen. Got men, horses, share numbers. Mounted, sir? Of course. But in two troops. Either end of the grove. Catch them in the cross charge. Confuse. Overwhelm. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. Tabun kok sikit inspi ka pacet. Kimi 
Is dat zo zwaar? Oh, spak. Zijn we toch niet zo wees? Pieter. What are the plans now, sir? What are the plans? Use the 79 pounders, of course. No choice. Yeah. All the story, eh, pretty boy? <laughs> See there, set into position. There is no choice. Count the dead and the wounded. Just count them. The decision is made. sounding sky. What about him, Constable? Let me talk to him. Good God! Well, it's a chance. Look, there's 47 mounted policemen down there, and special constables all sworn in proper, and half the people in Duck Lake District turn it into a goddamn circus. Your boys don't have a hope in there. Sounding sky, do it. He's going to use them cannon. They're going to be killed, sounding sky. They're going to die. Something us people can do good still. Get them out of there. So that you can hang him? Bastard. You goddamn red bastard, you bastard! You want it to happen, you bastard! Ho, ho, ho. Excellent! Commence fire! 